This I believe. As man has been evolved to become the dominant species on Earth, we have lost some of the true principles that had previously defined intelligent life on this planet. Modern advancements in medicine, agriculture, architecture, fiber optics, and transportation have contributed to our devolution and have only added to our dependence. No longer are we struggling to survive in the forests and the jungles along with our animal friends. Instead, we are cutting down our once habitats to build more sedentary, more sophisticated, and more modern societies. We are sacrificing our future well-being for our instant gratifications. I believe that the only way man has truly evolved over the past few centuries has been in ways to kill each other. Warfare has come to a point where not only are we in jeopardy of destruction, but we have figured out a way to bring the whole planet in on it too. In less than 500 years, man has gone from spear chucking and sword fighting to gun shooting, cannon blasting, and bomb dropping. No longer is it the bloody hand-to-hand -hand combat that pitted brother against brother and man against man. We have simply come to a point where we try to be as far away from the kill as possible. This way we are secure. This way we do not have to look at our fellow man in the eye as he breathes his last breath. It desensitizes warfare. Soon, we will no longer be fighting for our principles and beliefs, or risking our lives for our freedoms. We will merely be able to fight our battles from a computer lab. I believe that instead of being pivotal to the survival of the group, most individuals have surrendered to the capitalistic service economy, where they cater to the wants, not needs, of their common man. We've evolved to a point where it will take something drastic to do what needs to be done to change these ideologies. I believe that this planet cannot sustain the amount of humans continuing to inhabit it. Modern medicine is keeping alive, people alive much longer. In 1900 India, life expectancy was a mere 32 years. Today, India's life expectancy has doubled. In a country of over 1 billion people, Doubling life expectancy does not bode well for future generations. The population overload that is and will be Asia is just an effect of our advances in medicine and technology. All of these people have to go somewhere. If survival of the fittest is truly no longer one of nature's cornerstones, and man continues to impede upon it, then man has to find a solution that will allow us to ecologically exist with our planet. I believe that modern technology, computers, televisions, the internet, and video games have all contributed to a worldwide devolution. Things once thought to be impossible now are realities in everyday life, but one thing that is forgotten with all these innovations is the amount of time spent on them. It is a great concern of mine that the computerized generation is not using time efficiently and relying too much on our machines. I believe that man's ability to think through real-world real problems will ultimately suffer and be left to the computers to solve. Life was not created to live through the monotony of a 9-to-5 job. Life was not created to just sit around watching Judge du Judy all day long. Life was not created to hegemonically hold down every other species on the planet. And life was not created to destroy the very fabric and structure of its home. Life is more precious than any dollar amount can ever depict, no matter what MetLife tells you. Life is beyond the typical human's understanding. But who really thinks the meaning of life is playing Call of Duty all day just to get a medal next to your name? I believe we have all lost the true sights of human ambition and have replaced it with an unwavering consumerism. Because of this, we should all be held partially at fault for the devolution of ourselves and for the destruction of our habitat and our earth.